Finally, we have poison ivy. It all came up in like two days. So, I've been struggling with poison ivy for the past three years and I'm tired of it. So, I want to try this American Indian remedy and see if eating a piece of poison ivy every week I can develop an immunity to it. So, I'm either going to eat this and choke and feel sick and go to the doctor. Or I'm gonna eat it and become immune to poison ivy. So let's cut the tip off. That's all I'm gonna eat right there. Touch it. I wonder if I if I put it inside this and ball this up. That'll probably be small enough to eat as a pill. I'm so scared. Alright, it's in here. I just want to pack it there. Alright. <coughs> That's too big. I need to drink water. Okay. All right, so my wife has these um, little clear capsules that you can put like essential oils in and stuff, or powder, like spices, if you need to take something as a supplement. So we just put the poison ivy inside this little thing. You can put quite a bit in there too if you really want. So I'm just gonna use this to take it. So, yesterday, was it yesterday, babe? <laughs> yesterday yes. I took it inside a piece of bread, and I, I wasn't sure if it actually went down, because later I was, like, feeling in my tongue, in my mouth, and there was, like, a piece of something in my mouth. And I, and I was like, I wonder if that was the poison ivy leaf, so it just slipped out of the bread and got stuck in my teeth for a couple hours. But I was feeling, like, a little bit, like... I don't know, like a, a sore throat, I guess, kind of, and my sinuses were kind of hurting. It was almost like I was coming down with something, but then it went away later in the day. Um, I ate a bunch of chocolate, so I had it handy, so I ate a bunch of those. Um, but yeah, no ill effects, no, no, and I, you know, when I get poison ivy on my skin, I mean, it really, 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 really itches, but I've never had it inside my mouth, and when I was a kid, I used to lick it. Because I thought if I licked my poison ivy sores, it'd go away faster or something. A stupid idea, but um, I rubbed my face. I mean, all itchy eyes, you know, rubbing my eyes. Never had poison ivy in my eyes. So I think the inside of my body is impervious to it. But uh, it's only been 24 hours since I did it the last time. So I'm just going to, I took cut two little pieces. I didn't show you how big they were, but they were just little teeny tiny little tips off of a poison ivy leaf. I don't want to touch it because... It's not good for my skin. There. And the poison ivy is inside. And then I can put the capsule together. Here we have poison ivy leaf inside a capsule. Okay? Right here inside this capsule, I'm just gonna. That piece was a little bit bigger. Um, I do have food nearby anytime I take this. I feel like that reduces the chance of something going wrong. I wouldn't want to have poison ivy in an empty stomach and then like throw up or something, I don't know. But so far it's been no problem, so I'll just keep working it. All right, um, so I wanted to tell you guys how this is going. Um, I started with a very small point of a poison ivy leaf. It was about 
I don't know, it was, uh, you know, just a couple of millimeters long. I broke it right off the tip of a leaf and I put it in a piece of bread. Um, the second time I used a vegetable capsule, a little empty pill that you can put stuff in, and I used a slightly bigger piece that time, um, and I started to notice that I would have a sore throat and feel fuzzy, like my sinuses. Um, it was almost like I was coming down with a cold or, I don't know, just a sore throat, I guess. Um, and so I actually did it I, four times. The third time I was bigger. It was probably the size of a nickel or a little bit larger. And then the last time, the fourth time, it was the size of a quarter, I would say. It was a pretty good sized piece. And um, so I started being itchy um, in my butthole. And uh, so it's like I've got poison ivy inside me. Like I'm sore throat feeling, but not too bad, all the way in here, all the way up into my sinuses and like the back of my mouth, like way up in there. And um, it's not like driving me nuts or anything. It's just a little weird feeling because I feel like I'm, I'm like closed up a little bit, but I'm not having trouble eating. Um, I haven't thrown up. I haven't had any sort of other symptoms. Uh, I guess maybe a lot of it is just nerves because I'm feeling the stuff in my system and it's bothering me um, a little bit, but not enough to you know be a huge problem or anything. But obviously, um, my body is reacting to uh, the poison ivy, so I don't know what is supposed to happen, um, and I don't know if this was ever considered to be 100% effective. Um, but I'm going to take, a, I've taken a day or two off from that. So I'm going to do it. Originally, when I found out, they said you do the tip of a leaf only once a week. Um, so it's not, you know, painful. It's not uncomfortable. Uh, it's just the fact that I'm, I'm nervous because you've heard stories of poisoning that can happen over time. Uh, it's not really a poison, it's really just immune response that actually, it's an auto, it's sort of an autoimmune response to the exposure uh, where the body attacks the cells uh, that have been affected. Um, but I don't really feel that serious of an ill effect um, with this. So I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on how that was going because, uh, you know, it's like I have an itchy colon. Uh, not a huge problem, not incredibly aggravating, just a, just a little bit weird, I guess. Uh, and then, you know, the, the swollen sort of feeling in the throat. Okay. All right, so I have taken poison ivy seven times orally, and um, I have missed a bunch of weeks, which obviously is not helping my case, but I did end up getting a mild case of poison ivy. Uh, I. I was trying to cut off the heads of all the poison ivy plants on my property. There's always going to be more, so it's not a problem if I need to go find a poison ivy tip uh, to eat it. But um, I went out there and I cut them with the hoe, and I guess it must have like thrown like droplets of the oil towards me or something when I was doing it. And I never at, one, at any point did I actually uh, touch the poison ivy. I, all I did was just chop the heads off with this garden implement. So uh, I guess it's needless to say that I still am allergic to it, but I haven't had a long-term exposure to this, and I don't know how many exposures you really need uh, before your body begins to uh, cease on the autoimmune uh, responses to that. So um, basically, I would just conclude this uh, video by saying that uh, it didn't kill me. I didn't go to the hospital. I don't recommend that you do this at home without the recommendation of a doctor. Um, <laughs> But uh, this is just for information purposes that, yes, in fact, uh, there are people out there who can eat the poison ivy. I am not immune. I'm probably going to keep working at this and try to see if I can gain immunity. But um, when I did get poison ivy, it was a mild case, but then I didn't even actually touch the leaf. So um, I think, suppose if I touched the leaf, it probably would have been just as bad of a case as any other time that I got exposed. But um, that is the end of the video, and I wish you guys the best of luck on your Poison Ivy adventures, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.